What's up guys and it seems like Qualcomm is finally cooking a response to Samsung XAMD and Apple's M1 Mac chip. The chipset war is officially coming as we know Samsung is making three chips for 2021. In response to this, it seems like Qualcomm is also working on three of its own chips. Out comes Qualcomm Snapdragon 775 chip. This is the successor to the incredibly popular Snapdragon 765 5G chip from last year so this one has some big upgrades. It's completely built on 5 nanometer architecture with clock speeds up to 2.7 gigahertz. Latest Adreno 6 series GPU. The camera ISP is getting a massive upgrade as well. According to the info, the chip will be able to process three 28 megapixel images simultaneously from three different sensors. As for connectivity, we have the latest Wi-Fi and Bluetooth standard along with latest 5G standards as well. This chip will go one-on-one -on -one with Exynos 1080 processor. The upcoming Pixel 6 could be a prime candidate for this chip. Again, we already know that Google is working with Samsung on a new chip, so we'll see what they will eventually go for. But as always, Qualcomm is bringing the ultimate heat on all levels. Now, speaking of level, there's going to be a Snapdragon 888 Plus chip for second half of 2021. That chip will power a lot of flagship phones, possibly a lot of Volvo phones as well. And then we're going to see a direct competitor from Qualcomm that will take on Samsung XAMD and Apple's M1 chip. According to the latest leak, Qualcomm is working hard on a brand new SC series chip. What's weird about this chip is that Qualcomm may not be using any power saving cores. They may be going all out on performance by using their brand new gold plus and gold cores. The clock speed mentioned for these cores could go beyond 3 gigahertz so definitely this is a direct competitor to Apple's M1 chip and of course Samsung X AMD Exynos chip that could power future Windows laptop. Now Qualcomm is also working on mid-range CPUs for laptops. Apparently these CPUs also have gold cores in them. We could actually see three to four chips from Qualcomm this year targeting competition from all ends. The competition between this new gold Qualcomm chip versus Exynos 2200 for laptops versus Apple M1 chip, it's going to be something incredible. Also in the news, the state of tech is in kind of a weird place. OnePlus has released more official images of their OnePlus 9 Pro flagship phone. Not only that, they've also posted some more image samples of the device and basically highlighting the collaboration that they have done with Hasselblad to correct the color performance of their camera sensor. OnePlus promises that we're going to see natural colors and most importantly, natural skin tones. As for the actual image quality, the IMX789 sensor will deliver pretty sharp results. I can't wait to see the camera performance of the OnePlus 9 Pro. The way things are going, I really hope that they deliver on all the hype that they have created. Now we have a good news. Smartphone brands are finally ditching DxO Mark. Apparently OnePlus won't be sending their OnePlus 9 series to DxO Mark for camera rating. This is because DxO Mark claimed that Find X3 Pros ultra-wide angle camera does not come with a free-from optic lens, which actually isn't true because OnePlus has showed their free-from lens in action and this is the same lens we see on the Find X3 Pro. So at this point, no one really cares about DxO Mark. We might even see more brands doing this in the future. So that's all the latest news. The chip war is officially coming. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.